Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This one's kind of different from any of my other videos. So the reason I'm making this is kind of for my friend and also I guess for anybody who needs help. But I'm showing you guys how to use your custom Roblox character for thumbnails. I'm not teaching you guys how to make thumbnails. I'm just teaching you guys how to get the Blender character, if that makes any sense. But there's three things you need. Blender, Roblox Studio, and the Roblox Blender rig. Should be my description. Now once you do that, open up Roblox Studio. Then open up a base plate. Then once you load it, you're going to go here, top left. It says models. You're going to click this and put in plugins. You're going to type in load character. That's going to be the free one right here. Not the five dollar one the free one and once you download that it's gonna be up here in the plugins tab and this is what it looks like load character so you're gonna click on it type in your username or whatever username you want for me it's ben people i'm gonna spawn it as r6 and once you have him in top right you're gonna highlight his name open up the tab with the little triangle and then scroll down to head you're gonna open up head you're gonna find face you're gonna delete that now i want to close everything click on his name again make sure it's highlighted right click on it Go down to export selection. Then save this to a certain folder on your computer, wherever it's at. For me, the folder I'm going to save it to is RegUR. You're going to rename it to your name or the folder name. So it's going to be RegUR. But what you're going to put is clothes or whatever you remember. So it's going to save all of the clothes, but none of the accessories like your hair, your chain. So now what we're going to do to get that, I'm going to open it up again with a little triangle. We're going to find all of the wizard hats. So make sure when you click on the wizard hat, this one right here is not selected. As you see, I'm going to left click on the wizard hat. It unselects that, so make sure this is not selected. Now what we're gonna do, you're gonna hold control and click on every single wizard hat. So if you have five, make sure they're all selected because all of it is your accessories. You're gonna right click on it, export selection. You're gonna type in the same name. So for me, it's Reggie R. But at the end, you're gonna put hats. Make sure to save that. Now you're all done with Roblox Studio. Now what you gotta do is open up the Roblox rig that's in my description. It's called Roblox Rig V4. You're gonna open it up and you open up faceless. It's gonna look like this when you load in. So to move around, you can hold scroll wheel and just move your mouse up and down, left and right. As you see, it looks like this. And here's some other movement you could do you can hold shift and hold scroll wheel and move your mouse left and right as you see it fully moves or you can zoom in and zoom out with scroll wheel without holding it just you know moving it once you have it aligned click on the head go to materials at the bottom right here press this minus button get rid of all of that press new press base color this yellow circle press image texture open it up now find the file that you downloaded for me it's red you are and it's going to be called handle diff one and it's going to spawn in the skin color and the clothing so now i'm going to click on every body part i'm going to click the chest i'm going to go right here on the right open up this tab it should be called material i'm going to click on every single body part and do the exact same thing there now we have all of the clothes but we don't have the accessories so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go top left file import wavefront obj i want to find the file where we saved it to so for me it's red you are i want to find the name of the file hats then dot obj and open it up but as you see it spawns all the way over there and what you're gonna do you're gonna press this move tool and you can move this up and down but you might be thinking this is kind of hard to mess with so what we're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the object which is the hair you're gonna press set to origin geometry to origin that's going to spawn right on it. So now it's easier to move around. Now what we're going to do is align it. It is backwards, but I'll show you guys how to fix that. Basically, get in a good position. Go to the rotate tool and just rotate it around. Get it aligned. Move everything. All right, once you have it aligned, as you see, when you try moving your head, the hair or your accessories are not connected to the body. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is click on the hair, go to objects, go to relations, open up that tab right here where it says parent, type in head. Now, when you try actually rotating it, it's actually attached, as you see. If you want the chain to be attached to your chest, make sure to export the hair and the chain in Roblox Studio separate, and then just do file, import, obj, and do everything we just said. But now, we actually need to add a camera for us to see, so what we want to do is make sure we're in object mode. Right here, top left, says pose mode. I'm going to click on that, go to object mode. I'm going to press shift A, camera. My key binds for me is zero. As you see, when I press zero, it goes into the camera. What I do is I go top left, press view, navigation, walk navigation. And you can use WASD, E, and Q to go up. You can align it like this. Now there's something else what we got to do. Because if we go to render, top left, render image, it's dark. We need light. So there's two different options you can do. First one, which is, I guess, the more customizable one, but also I would say a little harder, is you're going to press Shift A. Make sure you're in object mode, of course. Find a light. There's different points of light. There's point, sun, spot, area. We are going to do spotlight. And see, it looks like this. So just drag it up. Customize it the way you want it to be. As you see, I have mine like this. I got it the way I want it. But if I also still go to render and render image, there's not much light to it. So what we got to do, we're going to go down here to data. Make sure we have it selected. So this is our light right here. Right here, power. We're going to turn this up. I did forget to mention something to actually see the light without going into render image. You're going to press this little orb right here. And now it's dark. So now when we actually turn up the light right here on power, you'll see it's slowly going to be lit like this. So if we want to change the color to like yellow, now there it is yellow. You want to choose the color green. 
etc red all these other colors we could do that so this is the more customizable way it also is harder but if you don't care about having custom colors this is the next way to have light so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the site called polyhaven you're gonna find whatever light source you like for me i'm gonna go with this one you're gonna press download i recommend saving this into a custom environment folder see mine right here environments this is where i have all my environments you're just gonna save it in there once you have it saved you're gonna come back to blender you're gonna go to world you're gonna go to use node you're gonna use color then you're gonna go to environment texture I'm going to press open. Then you're going to find your environment folder. Open the one we just downloaded, which is this middle one for me. Look, at, there it is. Now when we actually press render image, the custom lights all around. But you're probably wondering, how do we get rid of the background? Now what we're going to do is go to render right here. I'm going to press in the search bar, type in trans. And then right here in the film tab, I'm going to press transparent. Now the background is transparent. Next, what we're going to do is go to output. Then right here in the output tab, in the file format, we're going to click this. Make sure this is PNG, RGBA. Then now when you actually render the image, there's no background. So you just press image again, save as, save it to your computer. I'd like to show you guys how to actually pose your character real quick. So make sure to click on like the wires right here. I usually just click on the bottom ones. Make sure it's highlighted like that. Top left, where it says object mode, you want to put that to pose mode. So we could click on any of these wires. So like, as you see, this is the top arm. So it does that. The one below it is like the elbow. Then the one below that, which is the sharp yellow one, is like the wrist. Same thing with the leg. The top one is the whole leg. The one below it is like the knee. Then the one below it is like the ankle. But what I recommend before posing your character, make sure it's back to normal, is to save it. So you go to file, save as, and save it to your computer. So for me, it's back in RegUR. I'm just going to call this RegUR. Save as. So now if you have the super posed like this, I'm going to do a bunch of random stuff. And you want to reset them without pressing Ctrl Z. You could just close it. Press don't save though. If you save it, it's going to be stuck like that. Then we're going to go to where we saved the file. For me, it's RegUR, of course. Then once we open up the blend file that we did save just earlier, it's reset. But it's going to look like this when you open it. So what we're going to do is come top right. You can click viewport shading, which does this. Or you can click the one next to it, which also shows the lighting as well. So that one shows the lighting and all of that. If you guys have any problems, I'll make another YouTube video solving them. Just leave it down below if this is helpful. Donate me $200 on Cash App or something. Have a good one. Peace.